Hey, I'm Camille Lambert, Technical Service Manager with FMC for Kentucky and Tennessee, out in a soybean field, and I found a plant that I thought I would identify for you guys. So when we're looking at the pigweed species, there can be quite a few pigweeds, and how do you know which one that you have? So I just wanted to walk you through kind of ways to figure out what you're looking at. So the first thing I always do when I find a pigweed, look at the stem. Is it smooth or is it hairy? This stem is very, very smooth. There are no hairs on it whatsoever. So that narrows it down to two weeds right away. It's either water hemp or Palmer amaranth. Both species are really just kind of grouped close together. They're first cousins. They grow very quickly. So they're more aggressive than the other pigweed species. So try to figure out between water hemp now and Palmer, which one is it? So water hemp tends to have more narrow leaf shape whereas palmer has wider leaves. Water hemp also has shorter petioles. So the petiole is just the, the little stem between the main stem and where the actual leaf connects. So palmer is gonna have extremely long petioles. So right away that kind of narrows down that this in fact is water hemp. Now, the other thing I like to point out is look at all these growing points. This is what makes this weed so hard to kill. We've got a growing point at every single node. So you have a little branch coming off. Sometimes they'll start budding out at the node. And then at every single place a leaf connects, you've got an additional growing point. So just this little stem here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 growing points. And so everywhere our herbicides touch, we've got to make sure we're getting these growing points. And that's why water hemp can be so tricky to kill. We've got to hit all these growing points or it's just going to branch right back out and keep on growing.